The United Nations representative to Somalia has been ordered to leave the country. A statement by the Somali Foreign Ministry said Nicholas Heisam, a South African national, had deliberately interfered with the country's sovereignty. There's been an increasing tension in the country over the past few months between pro-government forces and Islamist militant group Al-Shabaab. In October 2018, Mokhtar Robo, a former number two leader of the terrorist group Al-Shabaab, announced his campaign to become president of Somalia's southwest state. But the government rejected his candidacy because of international sanctions against him. In December 2018, he was arrested and protests between his supporters and pro-government groups left at least 11 people dead. The UN envoy Nicholas Heisam questioned the basis of Robo's arrest and expressed concern over the deaths of protesters. And today the Somali government asked Nicholas Heisam to leave, accusing him of interfering with the country's sovereignty. The BBC's Somali reporter Khalid Baroud brings us the latest update from the capital Mogadishu. The federal Somali government's decision to expel the country's top UN diplomat comes after the UN envoy expressed concerns over last month's violence in Baidabo, southwest Somalia. Nicholas Haysom also questioned the legal basis for the arrest of former Al Shabaab deputy leader Mukhtar Robo, who was a front runner in regional elections held in late December. Protests over his arrest led to the deaths of at least 11 people. And Mr. Haysom questions the way the UN-sponsored police force has dealt with the demonstrations. The UN is yet to react to Somalia's request for the removal of the UN envoy. The country relies on international donors and partners for key sectors like security and governance. The Somali government is currently locked in a battle with the Al-Qaeda-affiliated militant group Al-Shabaab. Al-Shabaab regularly carries out suicide bombings in Mogadishu, which often results in mass civilian casualties. Well, let's get more on this story now. Somalia's Foreign Minister Ahmed Ise Awud joins us live from Nairobi. Uh, Mr. Minister, it looks like this was a very rash decision. Did you dialogue with the UN first? Uh, I differ with you. It's not a rash decision. We have been... our actually overly uh, uh, tolerant and patient with Mr. Haytham. In the four months that he has been on the job, he was making uh, reckless statements uh, represented by his uh, latest uh, letter to our Minister of uh, Security, uh, demanding him uh, of explanations, interrogating him, uh, basically acting like he is the, the governor general of Somalia. That cannot be uh, accepted, tolerated. Somalia uh, may some, have some, seen... Mr. Minister, uh, uh, some will find this decision uh, rather ironic, given just how much the UN does for Somalia. I mean, they prop up your security um, agencies in the country, and some would even argue the government. Well... Yes, the UN has been helpful, as well as the uh, members of the international community to Somalia. We value that contribution. We appreciate, we are very grateful to it. Uh, I hope you are not equating uh, the individual, one staff member of the UN, uh, with the UN. The UN uh, institutions are there to uh, function in Somalia. They are valued, they are uh, welcome. Uh, we are part of the, of the UN. We are the UN. Uh, this individual has acted uh, uh, beyond his uh, or outside the bounds of his uh, when you say, authority Mr. Minister, and when you say When you say that uh, Mr. Heisem has uh, acted outside his remit, I mean, don't you think that uh, that's pushing it a bit, given the fact that he is the mouthpiece of the UN in Somali, are you, are you worried that this could cause a breach in the relationship be between your country and the UN? Well, first of all, if uh, being a, a mouthpiece of the UN doesn't give him a license to uh, uh, abuse his authority and, uh, and disrespect 
the Somali people and the uh, sovereignty of the Somali uh, nation and endanger the, the security, that's how we saw it, the security and the unity of the Somali people. Uh, okay, just, now, just very briefly. Now you ask it another question, you said, what, is, what do we expect? We expect the United Nations to continue uh, uh, functioning in Somalia. We welcome, we cooperate, we, we respect, uh, and we are grateful to the uh, contribution that the UN is making to so so, uh, so you are grateful to, to and you do recognize how much the UN does in Somalia we, I mean is, are there any is there any room for negotiations or is this a done deal you mean negotiation in, in the case of uh, the him coming back the Mr. Uh, Haitham coming back to Somalia no 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 Haitham's decision uh, is final we have tolerated enough and uh, Haitham is gone but the UN uh, is there to to stay Okay, that's the Somali Foreign Minister Ahmed Issa Awud speaking to us from Nairobi. Thank you very much.